and welcome to Health Talk. I'm Laura Engel, in for Dr. Manny. An estimated 2 million Americans suffer from a little-known neurologic condition called pseudobulbar affect, or PBA, but many of them don't even know it. Joining me now are PBA patient Diana Hurley and neurologist Dr. Andrew Stocker, who are working with Avenir Pharmaceuticals to bring this issue to the big screen. So I want to thank you both for being here. Uh, we'll start with you, doctor. You know, what is PBA? A lot of people haven't heard of this. What are the symptoms? So pseudobulbar affect is a neurologic condition that arises when a patient has one other neurologic disease like Alzheimer's disease or multiple sclerosis or perhaps a stroke. A patient with pseudobulbar affect has involuntary laughing or crying that is out of context of what they're really feeling on the inside. They might laugh or cry when a situation is not really funny or sad to them, or they might cry out of proportion to the amount of sadness that they're feeling on the inside. And now, are there people that are more susceptible to this? Uh, who are the people who are at risk? So the people who are at risk for developing PBA are p people who have an underlying neurologic condition. Perhaps they have uh, ALS or multiple sclerosis mm -hmm. or a certain kind of dementia. They're the ones who can have PBA. And Diana, we want to thank you again for being here. Uh, tell us about your story. When did you first know that you had this? Well, I, I just uh, found out about it after I had my stroke. Okay. So that falls in line with what you had just said, mm -hmm. Dr. Stalker. And how did you find out? Did you have one of these episodes and go to the doctor? Yes, I, I had uh, episodes uh, uh, regularly. And uh, so I did go to the doctor. And uh, uh, I had to go through quite a bit in order to get the diagnosis. That must have been pretty scary. It's scary, yes. And uh, not only that, but it's embarrassing. Right, sure. And so what is it like to live with a condition that it sounds like you don't know when this is going to come on? No, I don't. I have no idea when it's going to happen. And uh, you just uh, you just have to accept it and move on and go uh, do whatever you can. What do your doctors tell you to do to prepare yourself, you know, in terms of your treatment moving forward? How can you work well, with Well, you know, really our focus today is just basically to get the word out, mm -hmm. you know, about this condition so that uh, many people that are out there uh, can get the help that they need. And Dr. Stocker, this is something that has been underdiagnosed uh, in, mm -hmm. in our community, correct? Right. It has been underdiagnosed, and that's why there's an effort now to raise awareness. The PBA Film Project is a film that follows the lives of six patients with PBA, and we get to see some of the struggles that they go through as they live with PBA episodes, both laughing and crying episodes. And Diana's in the film, and one of my patients and myself are in the film, and at pbafilm.com you can see some of the progress we're making towards completion of the film, which is now in post-production. Um, so hopefully, with that, other people who have PBA, who have these laughing or crying episodes that don't know what they are, will be able to f find out and seek attention from their physicians knowing more about the condition. And one of the things that I hear is in the film is about, it's not just about the patient, which of course you are the main right. person in this story, of your own story, but it has to do with the family members and the caregivers and your friends who are your support yes. system. Yes, exactly. I mean, it's uh, just as hard on them. Mm -hmm. That's right. And so what we want to know also, how is it treated, doctor? So what's important to know is that PBA is treatable, um, but more than discussing a f specific treatment, we want to focus on raising awareness and raising the level of understanding. Unfortunately, sometimes a patient who has PBA might have a mistaken diagnosis of depression. And depression is, of mm -hmm. course, very important to recognize sure. and treat if that's the case. But sometimes a laughing or, cry, or rather a crying episode is felt to be that. And I think Diana had that exact experience. I did. I did. I, I went, went to see a doctor and uh, uh, because I wasn't feeling well. Right. And so uh, I was in the exam room. And when he came in, I had a, a PBA episode. And I started crying, mm -hmm. and I couldn't stop. And he said, well, of course, you're just depressed. You know, I'm right. going to put you on some antidepressants. And, you know, because I have a little bit of medical background, uh, I knew I wasn't depressed, and, and so I told him no. Right. You know? 
that's such an important part. Why was it important for you to be involved in the film of getting, you talked about getting the word yes. out, but being on camera and being in a movie yeah. is a significant step to get the word out. Why was that yes. important to you? It's important to me because I want people to see that uh, they have options and that they need to see their uh, doctors and so that they're not misdiagnosed. Mm -hmm. It's so important that people and doctors realize that this is an actual dis uh, uh, disease and it, it can be treated. So after you told your doctor, I don't want to be on the antidepressants, yes. did you insist on a second opinion or did that same doctor? Uh, no. What I did was I went back to my uh, primary care mm -hmm. doctor and uh, she uh, uh, referred me to a neurologist who was familiar with PBA, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm so glad she was because she diagnosed me with PBA. It's great. It's so important. And, yes, and Dr. Stalker, important. we also want to ask you about the research that is being done on this. Right. So fortunately, there has been research, and that's made PBA treatable, and that's why it's become so important to recognize it. And if patients if they think that they have the symptoms of PBA, they can go to pbainfo.org. There's a self-assessment questionnaire there. They can take that, find out if they do have the symptoms, and take that to their doctors so they can have their condition evaluated. And I imagine a lot of our viewers that are able to see this uh, will learn more about it through that, but also going to see the film. When does the film come out? So it's in post-production now. Okay. I think there's some more that they have to shoot a little bit this summer and then hopefully fall. We're going to see it out. All right. Well, congratulations on getting your story out. I know, I know that this is difficult, but it, as you said, it's so important to share your story to let other people know because so many people are probably just not knowing what this is, if they're dealing with it in their own family. Exactly. Mm -hmm. so, exactly. So very good. Well, thank you for sharing your story. Thank you to you both. Thank and you. if you have a health topic for the doctor, you can send an email to Dr. Manny at Fox. Until next time, I'm Laura Engel.